I am Russ, that is Chris, and I don't know if he has a name for his new iPhone 4 yet, but you have it. And we told the story yesterday on the show, and Stephanie's not here today <coughs> because she has time of the month headache, <laughs> backache, I don't feel good ache, so we said you could have the show off. I think I got that. You got the time yeah. of the month? Yeah. I, I mean, <coughs> tell us... We left them hanging on. We hope you got the phone, which we did. So you told them I went twice well, and twice. all that stuff. Everything, right? yeah. Told all that. Well, what you don't know is I made it back down there. And I'm going to meet him at 7.30. I called at 7.25. I said, I got to stop and get gas, dude. I, I mean, I've already left this guy hanging once. I will be there 7.35, 7.40. He went, no problem. I'm at least 10 minutes away. I whip in there at 740. I said, I am sitting under. I pulled up on the curb <laughs> in between the sidewalk and the to-go sign. And I went, I am parked under the Chili's to-go sign. He went, okay. I'm probably still another 10, 10 minutes. Traffic's crazy. So I texted him this time and I went. I got, I got my mom's phone. Right. Where I would, I'd have communication. So I... Said, I'm going to go ahead and park. Okay. Ten minutes later, not there. Five more minutes, not there. I call. Man, about five more minutes. So what do you think? I hang up and I go, he ain't coming. <laughs> He's doing me the way I did him. <laughs> he, he just paying me back. He ain't coming. But I drove this far. I'm going to wait. Ten minutes later, I call. And he went. There was a bad wreck at Breaker Lane. He said, I'm two exits away. Right. <laughs> he showed up. He was a nice guy, him and his son. Uh, just didn't just didn't want to uh, have the iPhone. Had it. You know, he paid 200 bucks for it. He was able to make some money off of it. And there was some medications and stuff that he needed. But... Cool got guy, it. I got it done. Stuck my SIM card in. Bam! What SIM card you went and got me to where I wouldn't have any downtime. That's exactly right. No I won't have time. any downtime. Have four hours downtime. <laughs> when I plugged it in, I want to thank you guys for for all your text messages, <laughs> and I apologize that I didn't know who the hell you were, because all it was was numbers. Now that, that that's because you had to go into your iTunes and get all that. Yeah, done. with the, with the iPhones, you know, you have to sync it to iTunes, and it puts all your contacts back on there. Let me say this real quick because I did not change the shutter speed on the camera. We are ramped up, so we we kind of we shot a commercial the other day, and, and we did some stuff, and I didn't change the shutter speed. So if we look a little bit more. Fluid, fluid. Uh, don't worry about it. Poke on the coat. One, two, three, four. And uh, so don't worry three about that. But that's a lot. Uh, but yesterday, we, I mean, and, and we shot the uh, the morning show yesterday on the iPhone, and I, I forgot I had the, the the glare on us. So don't worry about that because the picture is amazing. You know, the picture on these phones. The, that's the reason I really wanted the it. clarity of the screen. Yeah, is I, I've told you before, the human eye sees three hundred. Uh, pixels iPhone is 322 I yeah. believe so just looking at it it's just clean and it's crisp the pictures are amazing it, the yeah. video is amazing y'all y'all saw the show it, it really is <clears throat> it really is and, and we're gonna do some stuff uh, I'm hoping that me and Chris both have enough common sense to start shooting a little behind the scenes footage for you guys to put up on it's just not common sense it's just time we don't really think about we get lost it in the moment while we're doing it now Speaking of Red Sea, speaking of crew, speaking of family, let's get right into our Red Sea crew. <clears throat> you know what? Russell went, man, I didn't produce the show. Stephanie ain't here to produce the show. And so it goes to hell in the handbag when Stephanie ain't here. That's exactly right. So I went, you know what? Let's go through everybody. Let's, let's tell a little bit about our crew. 
And we'll start with Stephanie. She's faking sick today. Faking sick. So she must not be feeling well. Not feeling well. Head because just... Stephanie don't call in sick. Yeah, she worked today. It's just when we got ready to do this, she went, I, I'm just going home and I'm, I'm going to sleep. I have a headache. Had a headache for a couple, three or four days. Uh, my, my thing is, I don't think the people know how much time we put into Red Sea. And, and I know... <clears throat> well, I think they understand how much we put in. The, the people who correspond with us... Yes. No. But what they don't know is, is, is Brad and Jason and Robert, uh, Turk, Rez... Hope. Uh, Hope no, I, I, I was, was going to go... Oh, those Gary. guys... Take off Hoke and Gary. Yeah. Those other guys work a full time job. Oh yes, correct. I mean Turk has been around the world in eighty days. Riz does photography and the rest of them work eight to five. And it's tough giving their time to us when the baby's at home crying, when Certain things happen, you know. We had some losses in our Red Sea family, yeah, <clears throat> and it's tough, but they always come through. And one day, it, it's gonna all it's gonna all work out for everybody. But right now, it's just a you know a, a hug and a handshake almost. That's what it feels like. And some dinner every once in a while. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 we cannot do it. <clears throat> we cannot do it without the people that uh, the core. And, and the core, you know who I'm talking about. We have the people that jump on the bandwagon and ride it for a little ways and jump off. And uh, we understand that. We've had it since Phoenix. But but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through them. Go through them. I'm going to go through them. Brad wrote Cowboy and Lucky the web series, Cowboy and Lucky the movie. Uh, wrote the episode, and then we went a different way. He's writing some other stuff. He's wanting to even act more. Yeah, yeah. You know, get his get his cell phone uh, some places in Dallas and act more. You got Jason. Jason's our figure outer. Yeah. He's when we have a problem, we call him. And go, hey man, leave you look this up. And then he runs a camera. Hope, Chris Hope, David C. Hope came in, started writing Cowboy and Lucky. Has flourished. You know, he's kind of hit, hit a brick wall lately. But you're kind of helping him out because his ideas kind of got to seven or eight, and we need thirteen. But you you kind of gave him some ideas. We did, and we just he's moving on out there. He started. He took it and, and ran with it. Yeah, you know, Karishna moved off. She wishes she could still help. It's just hard living two hours away. Gary, I can't say enough about Gary. He's always there, always, always. No matter what we need, Gary's there always. to do it. You got Robert. Robert just delivered living room wards. I'm going to tell you guys something, and I, we're, we're stopping on people, but Robert cut living room wars for mm -hmm. us, and I'm going to tell you something. It, you will be blown away, blown away that this was shot in Central Texas HD. Central Texas, folks, it's dang good. Yeah. It is dang good. Keep going. <clears throat> uh, I'm up to uh, res. You know, give it to you this way. We were shooting a little clip at a lawyer's office that's going to be a advertiser, and they threw a little wrench on us, and I called Rez, and I go, hey, man, can you, can you come out here? And he went, on the way. I right. just, that's, I, I wouldn't call it loyalty, but that's the kind of people we have. Yeah. He dropped everything. He said, I'm at the office working. He dropped everything, came out there, spent, you know, an hour, hour and a half with us. Thing is, we just can't we can't pay for that kind of stuff. That's that's the kind of stuff we that, can't yet. Right, we we can't yet, and we will. But that's the kind of stuff that we go. Whenever those guys need anything of ours, like Turk, who hopefully you finally knocked that into his head, we're we're here to help you. You know, well we Turk sat right here and went, man, I got a camera. It's got a little smudge on the lens. I don't know. He drove to Athens, drove back that night to to pick up a camera we offered him. So, anyway, Turk does the voiceovers for commercials.